Today it's Saturday, September 7, 2024. Let's continue with the uh, C63. Now, I haven't spent so much time for the camera adjusters. I haven't cleaned it yet. I have a little bit partially clean this one. This is, one second, don't forget, this is intake. All right, intake camera adjuster. Intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust. Lovely. Uh, what's the final call? from the owner. I'm flipping the pin and I'm closing back the cam adjusters without the plates, without the upgrade plates. That's total fine. Like I said, that's what I'm gonna do as well. It was mine. Uh, second thing, I'm replacing 32 hydraulic lifters, the two intake camshafts, uh, four bolts and four friction washers. That's the plan. Now, what I need to do now, I'm supposed to continue washing. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wash also the rest of the camera adjusters. I'm gonna rewash again this one because this I didn't spend, like I said, so much time. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Comparison. All right. Yeah, it's out of focus. Yeah, there is some burnt oil that's stick on it. All right. Classic, nothing new on that. Looks nice. It'll gonna come a little bit better. And my hands are dry, are from the petrol. <clears throat> Alright. Now, what I'm doing, I'm not putting it all and I'm washing it all together. I'm getting one at a time and I'm washing it. Why? I don't want to mix up, I don't want to run this, the inner gear on this housing. Because for the last 170,000 kilometers, this was running here inside and this was together with this and this. You have more chances of failure to fail something, <clears throat> to seize or to bite in some, in, inside, because this has its own wear, it's been married together, it's not brand new. If it was a brand new, I can take it from here and use it here, all right? Intake with intake, exhaust with exhaust. You cannot mix it up. You, you can mix it up, but it's not ideal because one is advancing, one is retarding. So once again, like any other time, one at a time, washing it, inspecting it for final. Sometimes what I'm doing, when I see a little bit of scoring, in some cases that's a little bit rough, I'm getting a 2000 sun paper and I'm polishing it out. Not something crazy, just to have a smooth area because you need to turn inside smoothly. Obviously with a full of oil, not dry. Same procedure like any other time. And to don't forget, I'm still waiting for the uh, pockets, the hydraulic lifters. I hope that I'm gonna receive it today. It's supposed to arrive yesterday at noon. Still waiting. All right, let's start working. After washing the parts, I brought also here the new intake camshafts and I have the allen here to make sure that's been drilled you know, the camshafts, just in case, I check the new camshafts and the old camshafts to make sure you don't have any headache. That's the exhaust camshafts over there, this is the intake camshafts. Lovely. Okay. Then, eh, the boxes from the new camshafts are here. And Instead of these nylon bags and the boxes, I'm going to put the old camshafts. Alright, now I have plenty of time because I'm still waiting the hydraulic lifters. Taking care of some small things, polishing some small areas. Cleaned again, this time with a brake cleaner. It depends the part that I'm going to polish. Alright, full of assembly oil and then start putting it together. Before I do that, let me prepare the table because I want to bring 
the scissors table here inside with a new sticker. And whatever I have ready, I'm gonna put on the table and then with the timing tools next to it, going outside. Before I put the hydraulic lifters, what I'm doing, I'm mounting the camshafts without the hydraulic lifters, without the gears front, and I make sure that they're running nice and true and doesn't bite. That means not being bent any camshafts. This is 101. Before you put the hydraulic lifters, it's the right time because you can put it and you can spin it all the way around 360 with some assembly oil to have a high viscosity so to get all the space, not thin oil, to see that it's running nice and true and it doesn't, like I said, doesn't bite. And then you take it out, you put the lifters and you torque it down for final. Let me move on. Let me put also the old camshafts there inside. Fresh clean sticker on the table, all right? The camshafts on, the torque wrench, timing tools, the reading wheels, the front one here. I already checked the surface here to don't have any perfection. The same thing also from here inside. You need to have nice grip because it's relying on the friction and the clamping force. There's no pin. Okay, inspect also the camshafts here. I'm not touching it. I'm just making sure to be nice and clean and dry. All right, it has to be rough to don't be smooth. This is okay, this is a little bit more smooth, if you're asking me. Okay, because it comes a diamond washer, diamond washer. Um, the, the friction washer what it has to align, to, to be, to have a grip between the camera and the camera. Yeah, all right. This is one thing. And then when I finish with the, the camera adjusters, I'm gonna place it on the table and standing by for the lifters. All right, so this will can give me room to work on the little bit of, like I said, a little bit polishing here and there, and then putting it together. Let's go outside, so don't forget it, to put also that on the video. Just a second. I'm not pausing it, so what, all right? No worries. Never mind. Here. In this box, I have the old bolts, the friction washers, I have the hydraulic lifters, and the worst hydraulic lifters are placed here up. You see there are five, six pieces that they're worse than the other. The rest of the lifters, it's usable. I mean, you can just open it, clean it, wash it, prepare it, check the clearance that's okay. I have a video about that. Put it together and everybody happy. The camshafts, the camshafts, the intake camshafts, it's the ideal camshafts for e-profile. Why? Because they don't have so much wear. Not exchange the camshafts with the reprofile camshafts, reprofile the specific camshafts because you don't know the other camshafts how, how it was. You're talking about direct acting, and if the, pre, the other camshafts they have a wear, let us say, two, three millimeters, and then you grind it, then you're losing this lift. All right, the car standing by there, covered. Let's go back again inside. Let's go back inside. Yeah, I came inside. Yeah. Uh, come adjusters. Oh. Come adjusters. All right. No, I'll not, whatever I need, if I need to sand something, I'm not going to do it here on the table. Screw it, I'm going to go outside. Yeah, it's, it doesn't make any sense. All right, the brake is on. Yeah, it's on. Let's start working. Finally, ready from the come adjusters. Prepared, torqued down with a fresh lubrication inside with the fresh oil inside I still I'm still waiting for the hydraulic lifters what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get now two camps at a time going to check that spins nice that does have any problem okay and standing by for the uh, hydraulic lifters then uh, they told us after we open the the camp shots, that they want to open also the intake manifold because they need to be changed the PCV and the PCV, the 30 torques of the PCV is not going get, to get loose, it's going to get cracked. Now, as soon as I have opened already the covers and we have removed the camshafts, I don't want to uh, remove the intake manifold and fail anything inside the engine, if it makes sense. I hope to come today, the lifters, to finalize the camshafts and then open the intake manifold. I've checked the camshafts, it spins fine. Actually, I have time to even to do it again, <laughs> second time. <laughs> Still waiting for the hydraulic lifters. If, if I finish the video, that means I never received the lifters and then we are going on Monday. 
I hope that we're going to see you today, at least to finalize from this side, and then to remaining only for Monday, the intake manifold. We're going to find out. And finally, lifters arrive. I was continuing with some other stuff outside, then I remember that I have also the oil pump with the balance shafts from the Golf, but this is a different video, okay? While I was waiting, I prepared it for checkup. Now, lifters, they're full of oil, like any other time. All right, black series hydraulic lifters. Hey, you know what? Let me get the timing tools from here to put it here in a row and then take the table all outside to install it on the car. I mean, why not, right? Yeah, since I have it here. I'm, I'm literally full of oil. I'm gonna show you now what's, what's going on. I'm opening the tappets, the hydraulic lifters, and I'm putting here in a row, all right? To put it all here. I have, the, this is how it came. These are the nylon bags, but I'm opening it from here, I'm putting it here inside, and I'm going with the next one. On this nylon bag here, there was this pocket and this. Yay, how lovely. Obviously, this goes for scrap. I cannot use it. All right, just saying. Let's continue. We might find more, you know. I hope to be only one. Dang it. You're not gonna finish today, the car. Okay, it's also the intake manifold, yeah, yeah, but you're not gonna finish today. <sighs> Fucking lovely. Another thing that I don't understand, I don't get it. For the M156, they're coming in a carton box. The, there is a nylon and a carton box individual, one by one. All right? On the M059, on the Black Series, why to be dumped inside of one nylon bag? And another one, stupid question. You know, why I have to drink my coffee through a paper straw and these guys that can use all this nylon? You know, this is just wondering. All right. Continue. What continue? Okay, I'm going to put whatever I have and then standing by for, I hope to be only one and don't have another one. I was hoping to be another one extra lifter inside of the bag. But no. There is no any other extra lifter there inside. All right. Fine. Fine. I'm gonna keep one cam shaft, one cam adjuster, one reading wheel here inside. I'm gonna stand by for... Most probably we're gonna put the covers up to be able to open the intake manifold to move on at least. Let, let's go outside to finalize this one. Then we're gonna see how we're gonna continue. Or put the lifters, put the cams, don't put none of the cam adjusters and keep it here inside. Maybe, maybe we're gonna do it this way to finish the story. This goes back to the office, this goes outside to the customer, these are the nylon bags. All right, give me a second. The cam adjusters and the intake comes at bank too, we're gonna stay here inside until it comes the pocket, the broken one, to come the new one. Let's go outside to finalize the video. Bank one. There inside are the hydraulic lifters, the pockets. Okay. This is the new camshaft. That's the old camshaft. Everything's been torqued down. All right. That's for the bank one. This is for the bank two. Exhaust camshaft, the bridge front, obviously. It's free, but the rest has been torqued down. All right. One that's missing here front, the rest are installed. All right. Now, Mr. Derek, why I didn't put the cam adjusters? I'm going to explain why. When we put a rag on it, I don't want any, anything from the rag to bite on the gear of the cam adjuster and has peace inside. You get my point? And it doesn't take time. It takes only just five minutes to put the cam adjusters. Not even. Yeah. Standing by, like I said, for, for fuck's sakes, yeah. For what I said earlier, yeah. yeah. That's it for now, over and out. Y you know what's the thing? We need to open the intake manifold to remove the PCV. If you open the intake manifold with open covers, 
you know all the mess right and <coughs> and we didn't clean nothing here inside where are the fuel injectors to prepare it to take it out screw it waiting until we close we're gonna finish some timing we're gonna even start it and after starting it then we're gonna take care of the intake manifold all right because I might open the intake manifold and we're gonna be like you should with a shotgun, you know, with a bird shot. And yeah, we're gonna see how it's gonna be. Okay, sir. That's it for now. Covering it, standing by. Thank you very much. Have a nice weekend. Over and out.